quick update on my face. It's looking good. Um, my eyebrow is gone. I don't know where my eyebrow went. And, um, yeah, so as you can see, it's not looking as bad as it did before. I still have, it left a lot of hyperpigmentation that I'm going to have to deal with. My chin got the worst of it. It did a lot of peeling. So here's a clip of it in the midst of my face peeling. The skin got really dark and crispy and it was flaking off. And then here's my before. I really want to get back to this. But anyway, so here's me coarsely chopping up these vegetables in my nightgown. And yes, if I'm cooking for you, baby, this is how I'm going to look. All right, that's how you know i'm making it with love and um so i got tomatillos fresh tomatoes bell pepper onion boom i put my first pack of chili mix i cook it with the meat you want to sometimes it's 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 it set it off to toast your seasoning with your meat it makes it more flavorful and then i added like two tablespoons of tomato paste i love to squeeze so then you don't have to throw away the rest of the can <laughs> and then I added in with the meat. Once everything was all toasty, look how good they look. Like, mm, I already, you already know this chili about to be busting. It's about to be busting, busting. So, <laughs> and then I added in two cans of beans, two cans of tomatoes, and I added a whole lot of broth, beef broth to be more specific until it turned to chili soup. You see all that goodness hiding underneath. And then y'all need to boil this down. And I don't add my any additional seasonings until after it's boiled down to this point where it's thick enough to coat the back of the spoon. And then I taste it for seasoning and add in whatever else it needs. And look how good this chili looks. Like I can't even cap with y'all. It was so freaking good. Check out this money shot with the crackers, cheddar cheese, and sour cream. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. I, okay, y'all. This was too good. I love some good chili.